you might move closer to <laughs> How's it going? Dan Chamber here on Jump Talk TV at the NAB Show 2019. Here with the CEO of ClearTune Monitors, Cesar Milano. How are you, Cesar? Hey, good. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for being oh, here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, nice to meet you too. And I want to ask you some questions about the company. This is a really cool in ear monitor company. They got some great products we're going to go through. Uh, with Alfonso in a moment, but first tell us, how old is the company? When did you get started and, and what's kind of been the path? So, I started the company in 2010. 2010, uh, nine years from now, basically. Uh, I, I was playing drums. Before, nice. uh, yeah, I was playing drums with the Christian man. Uh, during like seven years playing drums with that, so I was in the mood to have a good set of ears and I would look at different companies. I was, I should have made my own. And I have a background sound engineer too and marketing, so I put everything together and start right. all the That's brilliant. I kind of started Drum Talk TV under the same premises. While I love our industry here is modern drummer, drum, drum channel, all those, I was looking for something that was a bit more international, if you will, as far as musical genres. So I thought, I'll just do it. So we don't just highlight the big rock stars and jazz stars. And we do everything from clay pot drumming in India to taiko drums in Japan. So I totally get that. How has the journey been? Uh, the journey was amazing, yeah. to be honest. It was amazing. Now, you couldn't believe I kind of been working with all the like, people that I used to follow before I made the company, like Alex Gonzalez from Mana, Aaron Spears, and people like, wow. So now it's kind of like a dream come true, to be honest. And, uh, and be amazing to, to develop this product for people in health musicians and family. I call I call everybody for family. Yeah. So this is a, it's, let's say it's a family business too, but uh, I don't call it artists or musicians. It's just family. I treat everybody the same. That's great. You know, I talk to a lot of musicians who come up with products, whether they're drum products, guitar products, things like that. What advice do you have for fellow entrepreneurs in the music industry that have a, a product or a small startup company and they really want to do it right? They want to connect with the consumer. Maybe they want to get picked up by a distributor or license it or something like that. What's your advice for them? But the first thing to, to be successful, you have to dream. Dream. They don't come true unless you dream no, them first. Yeah, you have to dream first and you have to work on your dream. That's what I do every day. And one of the things that I always uh, put myself I took my put myself out of the comfort zone. When you out of the comfort zone, you always be creative. You start creating new things and, and develop new things. And make, when you get into the circle of the comfort zone, like and you, you get so relaxed. Yeah, you get stagnant. I think right? and uh, nothing's coming. So I always put myself out out of the comfort zone to, to start creating stuff. Uh, uh, the Distributors, dealers, you always have to look for the right people get into right into the market and you know, start talking to the people. Be, um, how do you say when you start talking without you don't know anybody start saying things? Oh yeah, yeah just yeah. conversation. Yeah, conversation yeah. And, and be like public relations. Yeah. And everything is about public relations. And, and that's where the relationship starts, Exactly, right? exactly. And, and treat everybody the same. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he's yeah, famous or no, best support and uh, just be yourself. Yeah. You mentioned stepping out of the comfort zone. Again, for the benefit of fellow entrepreneurs out there, what's the biggest stretch personally that you took outside the comfort zone, if you don't mind me asking? What do you mean with the, the biggest stretch? Like, like, oh. Yeah, like the biggest thing outside your comfort zone that you did to get this company to where it is. Maybe every single one, yeah. I guess. I mean, every single one. Uh, because uh, when, when I dream, I, I always dream in future. Uh, like, where I want to be in like 10 years, yeah. 5 years, what I do. So, I, uh, I I put all these images together and in, in start thinking, okay, let's do one of the time of how, how I do this step to get there. And I start dreaming and thinking when I go to sleep. And one of the big projects, oh, this is funny. So when, when, I got, when I started the company, it was by myself, to be honest, just me. I get it. And yeah, just <laughs> me making the monitors, uh, doing the customer service and everything. So my wife, she was working at a different um, company. And uh, so like, you need to go with me. Like, no, 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 no. This is uh, so hard, uh, you need to find another job. Like, no, I'm not gonna find another job. <laughs> like, you're gonna be working with me. 
full time soon, and she was like, nah, she was kind of laughing. So like, yeah, three months later, she was, full, <laughs> she was working full time and making more money than what she was making. The I other love time. it. And uh, like, yeah, you have to believe, believe in yourself. That's it. Great. Thank you for that story. And I, I want to also now welcome Alfonso to go through the bio. Sure, sure, sure. He will, he will introduce you a little bit about the, the product and all that. Great. Thank you. Alfonso, are you ready to join in? Thank you, Alfonso. Cool. Thank you so much, Cesar. Welcome. How are you, Alfonso? Very well, thanks. Good. Now, I hope you don't mind me saying, but I happen to know from talking to you over the last few weeks that you've been with them for about a month, right? That's right. Uh, CMO, yes. But right. I've been an advisor of the company for a while. You look like you're loving it. Oh, of course. Every single minute. Great. Let's talk about the product. And maybe we'll, we'll start with the most craziest thing you have. We are talking to Aaron Spears about it a little bit. A, an inner monitor with imagine seven drivers like first of all I don't know how you fit that all in there number two to have that much base in such a tiny I mean, the technology today is amazing so let's start with that product we can point to whatever you want and cover whatever products you want to highlight for everybody out there yeah well uh, the AS7 uh, you guys already talked a lot about it and uh, yes there is always room uh, to have you know um, drivers to get to the range needed by the different customers that we have, different needs. And uh, right now, we uh, spoke along with Aaron. There was a market gap, yeah, meaning uh, a market opportunity to develop a product that will be broad enough. And uh, at the beginning, we thought it was going to be for drummers, but then when we tested it, it, it ran really well. Even James like love the product. And I'm talking about this, which is the AS7. Uh, the AS7 is going to be available as a universal fit and as custom fit as well. Why? Because there are different demands and different needs. This, let me point out that this uh, red and... Uh, the red and blue? The, the red and blue uh, are the filters that work in the components. So oh. if you see uh, in the tip, give me one second. So the AS7 versatility in terms of the uh, filters is to adapt the tool because we like to call it a tool. Uh, so all you do is to screw out the tip, oh, wow. which is a filter. Wow. Then uh, you change it if you want to work in a play in a place where you need more bass uh, or more lower end. You use the red tip, and uh, for the higher end, you use uh, the the blue tip. Wow! And if you need a flat uh, frequency, then you use the original silver tip. So that's. What's that, when we say that we've heard from the testers that the AS7 is the perfect tool to work with, we mean it. I mean, they mean it. That's fascinating. Yeah. I should say in the microphone, that's fascinating. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> and what I like about that is, you know, it, I'm thinking if you find the filter that really suits your liking, you don't have to mess with your monitor mix as much or argue with the monitor mix or whatever. Hopefully that doesn't always happen, but that's really interesting. Well, and, uh, and as Aaron says, it's like buying uh, three uh, monitors, or three right. sets in one, because you can adapt it to your work. Yeah. And, uh, and that's amazing. We're also uh, launching, or we have available also, also uh, premium cables. Because uh, um, you at the beginning you asked me for what's the craziest thing, and uh, we also have a nine driver and a oh, ten wow. driver uh, monitor. Wow, that's crazy! It's the Da Vinci's, and uh, the Da Vinci's were made originally thinking for those who are uh, sound or music lovers, and they really like to. Uh, hear clarity and you're gonna test the products later on and we're gonna get that on camera as well. Oh wow. Awesome. So this is the 10 driver. Wow. And um, and again it is the same theory that we're putting in place. You just need to unscrew the tip and you can change the filter. And uh, these uh, the Da Vinci's the 9 and 10 drivers they come with a high-end cable as well. This is uh, Pro uh, a, a professional uh, grade cable, yeah. 
but we're shipping the Da Vinci with uh, the um, well, premium cables as well because it really helps on the sound. What do the Da Vinci's and the seven driver monitors retail for? Uh, the Da Vinci, uh, the nine driver is $2,000. Uh, the 10 drivers is $2,400. Um, and uh, the AS7 uh, by Aaron Spears, it retails the custom fit for $1,500 and the uh, universal fit for 1200 And you have other models that are also universal and custom fit that go down in price and the amount of drivers, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, we have the Vintage Series. It's a two, four, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, two, three, and four drivers. And what's the retail range for those? They retail for 400 500 and 600 according to Great, wow, yeah. that's fascinating. I mean, you're gonna try them. <laughs> yeah, you have to try them. Yeah. We have to do that. Yeah, definitely. Cool. So for those musicians out there, and I know there's a few on our channel watching, if you're looking for a premium inner monitor with a lot of flexibility in the product line as far as different amount of drivers, different price range, universal versus custom fitted, check out the website is cleartunemonitors.com. There you go. And one last question, how do you do the custom fit? Yeah, uh, the process is simple. Uh, all you need is to uh, take the mold or impressions of your ear. Uh, usually, we, I mean, you can go in our website to find uh, the closest dealer uh, uh, or fitter. Uh, audiologist. Audiologist. <laughs> uh, you, you find audiologists near you, you. They take the impressions and then you ship them out to us, and that's when the process starts. And uh, once we receive the purchase order and the impressions, it takes from three to four weeks. Oh, that's quick. And they are available to do this worldwide as long as there's an audiologist near them. We have followers in different parts of Africa, in Iceland, I mean, everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, all, all you have to do is go to our website, you, place, you register, you place the order, go to an audiologist and ship it to us and we'll take care of you guys. Awesome. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this enlightening interview, a great product line of inner monitors. I'm excited to check them out. And Alfonso, I want to thank you so much oh for giving pleasure. us time at this busy booth at the NAMM show. Come by 15718, I remember that. All right. If you want to check these products out, they're awesome. You can check them out and maybe you'll catch someone you know here. Thanks for watching everybody, Dan Schiller with Alfonso Silva here at the Clear Tune Monitors booth at the NAMM show 2019. See you soon with more interviews.